Hello everybody, and uh, welcome to my first Let's Play. It's going to be for a Vita game. I'm going to be doing all 36 missions in the Vita title Unit 13. As you can see, this is the mission list. I've only completed uh, four, actually no, five missions, and I've unlocked, um, appears to be ten other than the training mission, so I'm going to go through this. Uh, we're probably going to take it two missions every, uh, probably two missions every day. So, this is the first video. I'm going to do every mission by... I'm going to do this every... Uh, I'm going to do this every mission, so it's one video per mission. Now, the first mission is, uh, first mission is fun, lengthy, and it really gets a sense of the game, so we're going to go with Commando, I'm going to update my, I'm going to update my, uh, gear a little bit from what I can, oh, I can't really upgrade too much, alright, so I'm going to just go with that, I'm going to deploy him, now, no, this is, all of this is going to be unscripted and unedited, and whatever, uh, whatever ending I get, whatever final score I get, that is the score that I get. There's not going to be any extra score other than that. So this is the first mission called Open Flame. It's going to be a little tilted because I'm trying to play and, um, shoot at the same time. So here we go. All right, operative. You have a lot to do on this one. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the loud approach and just shoot everybody. There you go. Oh, that's the first death of the game. You're gonna. This isn't meant to be exactly easy, you know. This this game is a little tricky at first. The enemy does not let up. This is command operative. You're near the warehouse area now, so find those shipping manifests so we can trace their suppliers. Over. I'm gonna try and take a two for one. Come by. Oh, two for one. Nice. That was beautiful. And I got the trophy for it. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Alright, he's not. There you go. Got him. Headshot. Alright. Now let's go get their shipping manifests. They're on the other side where I'm pretty sure there's more guards. Uh, yeah, this game is no joke. If you don't have a good cover, you are really fucked in this game. Like, this is probably one of the hardest shooters I've played since SOCOM. Like, and I'm talking about third-person shooter. I'm not talking about first-person shooter. The hardest first-person shooter I played was Call of Duty World at War. That had to be the hardest thing I've ever done. I believe that's every one of them, so let's go and get the shipping manifests located here. There we go. They're all in the same room, so you don't have to worry about that. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this, just know that all the manifests are in the same room. You can choose to go loud or be sneaky about it, but this is direct action, so most of this is made for loud. Um, but you can be sneaky about it. It does give you more points to be sneaky about it. Uh, just as long as you're fast with it. But this is a very long mission, so... You know, you try and do your best 
to be as fast as possible and be as sneaky as possible. So for that, I would suggest going in with uh, for a mission type like that. I would if you want if you want to be sneaky about it, uh, definitely go in with the uh, infiltrator. I believe his name is Ringo. This ops facility should have the enemy's plane schematics. Find and capture them so we have full details on what they're building. Over. Let's try and do this nice and slow. There you go. There you go. Two headshots. Love it. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep up the momentum. Headshot again. You always want to try and take headshots. Because they give you the most points. And you want to try and keep as many headshots in a row. Oh, look at that. Blind fire, blind fire headshot. Alright, I'm just, I know there's one more person down there, but I'm just going to take this right here. Uh-oh. Oh, he wants to play dirty. There you go, headshot. Times three. Yeah, the more, the more shit you do, like headshots and sneak CQC, you're going to get a lot more points and your multiplier is going to go up a lot more. And this works well since, it works well since this is like a leaderboard style game. I have to give it to him. This is a pretty nice hangout. That's a second nice thing he said about this place. <laughs> Alright, for this, uh, this part of the mission, I like to take a slow, silent approach to it. So wait till these guys stop talking. And let them walk away just a little bit. Pop his friend. Oh, wait. I did that a little too early, so... Looks like it's time to go loud. Alright. Ah! I don't want to die. Okay. Got him! Look at that. Got him. Alright, take the first plane thing. It takes a while, so definitely clear out all the enemies before you crab that. Believe me, you don't know how many times I got my ass handed to me because I didn't take them out beforehand. Check it out. We have jets. Not, Not bad. bad. I love Animal. He his voice is like so grisly. It kind of sounds like uh, uh it kind of sounds like um, Mickey Rourke almost. Not Mickey Rourke. Who am I thinking? I'm thinking Hellboy. Um, what is that guy's name? I know he, I know he does the, uh, he does that, uh, what's that voice? I forget his name, Hellboy, what was Hellboy's name? If you guys know it, please leave it in the comments section, because I really, really don't know. <laughs> like, I'm dumbfounded right now, and I love Hellboy. Uh, it'll probably come to me later, but... Uh, where are they sending me? This arrow is like so misguided. Okay, this way, this way. All right, we're going through the hangar. Okay, making sure. All right, this part. command. You're near the test chamber now. Find and disable that jet engine to ensure those planes stay grounded. All right, this part's pretty straightforward. Just kill. As many. This part's pretty straightforward. Just kill um, and sabotage. Kill and sabotage. It's the easiest thing to do here. Take down. Okay, first piece of sabotage. You need to turn the jet engines on before anything. Go. Turn the second one on. I don't know if it's two jets. I just know they have us open two things. Uh oh. Someone got to me before I can finish. There you go. Alright, that's it. I believe that's the last enemy in this mission. So this is probably eh, about time to. About the time I end the video. So I'm gonna go run all the way over here. 
all the way over here. There's like so much to do and so many different ways to do these missions, it's not even funny. Alright, that's everything. Got it. No way they're using that engine now. Without an engine, they can't fly their planes. Nicely done. Lovely. Nice. I got it. You're all done, operative. Head to the exfil. And just head to the exit, and this is it. The missions are wrapped. We're gonna watch a really cool helicopter come by and pick your ass up. And I gotta say, this helicopter does look cool, even for a Vita game. Handheld systems have come a long way. Mission complete. So, I got that much experience, killed them all, time was spot on, my accuracy was half spot on, and I got five stars. That's how you, that's how you do it. <laughs> um, Alright, that's it for this episode. Um, uh, for all you Vita players out there playing Unit 13, uh, if you like the video, send me a video response with you playing Mission 1 to this video, and see if you guys can beat my score of 94,363. Uh, you can use any operative you want. Um, like I said, just take the pointers from this video and go get yourself uh, and go bring me some uh, video responses. And I will, and the best one, the one who beats my score, I will definitely uh, put a shout out to their YouTube channel on the next uh, the next two videos after this. So. Um, I don't know, I'm going to say this because I don't know if I can do it, but probably click the annotation somewhere on the screen. I'm probably going to put it over my, uh, I'm probably going to put it over here where the leaderboards is. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Um, if not, just look in the comments, uh, just look in the description, and there it is, and it, it'll be the link to, uh, the next mission. Um. So let's hope I get to do that. Uh, and this has been Unit 13 Walkthrough Mission 1.